Five, a man found stabbed to death in a Coe. Now investigators say teenagers are behind the brutal crime. Western reporter Amanda Ober tracking the breaking developments. And Amanda, do investigators know who they're looking for? Well, not only do they know who they're looking for, Jim, but they say they have him. I'm outside the Ocoee Police Department, and any moment now, that Sally Port door will open, and police will leave with 19-year-old John Hawthorne. He is the Ocoee man who was accused of the brutal stabbing death of a homeless man earlier this morning, and police say Hawthorne has confessed to that crime. Now, according to police, just before 7 o'clock this morning, Hawthorne and a friend were riding an ATV in a wooded area not far from the intersection of Blueford and Colonial when they came upon a homeless camp. The victim, a 30-year-old homeless man, was asleep in a tent, and he says he came out when he heard Hawthorne ordering him to leave the area. Hawthorne then started vandalizing the homeless man's property. A struggle followed, and it ended with Hawthorne on top of the victim stabbing him. Hawthorne and his friend left, even though the victim was asking for help. The boys returned to their respective homes and took showers to clean up. Meantime, the victim tried to walk to the 7-Eleven for help but collapsed and later died at ORMC. Witnesses who saw the victim say it was a heartbreaking sight. It's just the way the world is nowadays. Uh, I hate to say it like that, but um, it's just you hear about it every single day on the news and it's just, it just it's a regular occurrence now. So I think a lot of people get numb to it. Um, when it happens so close to you know where I work or something like that, it kind of hits home a little bit closer. Now, Hawthorne and his parents have been here at the Ocoee Police Department all afternoon. He is charged with first-degree murder and will soon be transported to the Orange County Jail. The identity of the other boy involved in this incident is not being released, and he is not being charged in this crime. Now, as for how police were led to these boys, they say it was simply good old-fashioned detective work. And also, this afternoon, they've been executing a search warrant at Hawthorne's home, which is in the 300 block of Main Street. Street here in Ocoee. Reporting live in Ocoee in Orange County, Amanda Ober, West 2 News.